the big message from WHO is that these disorders are common, that they're disabling, and that they are uh, usually untreated, and that this uh, requires uh, enormous amount of action and resources. That protocol is written for non-specialized health workers, which means those are nurses, doctors, health officers, who are not specialized in mental health. They are not, uh, and that's important because they are the people who are out there in uh, all around the world providing healthcare. Most countries have very few psychologists and psychiatrists, and if they have them, these are usually in the capital, and there's usually very few of them, and uh, that those, there's way too few of them to make mental health care widely available. Non-specialized health workers, like these primary health care workers, can provide a lot of the basic care. And one of the things they can do after, after trauma is provide something that's called psychological first aid, which involves listening to people, asking for their needs and concerns, strengthening their social supports, and protecting them from further harms, you know, discouraging them from making rash decisions in the moment of when something really bad happens. One of the messages from, from these guidelines is that, uh, different from other areas of mental health, that actually most of the care is, is, psych is psychological. These are not, medicines play, play a relatively small role here. And uh, in particular, the very, there's a very popular uh, treatment is benzodiazepines, so anti-anxiety drugs, which doctors all around the world like to give. Uh, to, to people for sleeping better, for anxiety. Well, those are actually unhelpful. So we are making a recommendation against them.